Hey YouTube, um, just want to take a quick second and show you some of the treats we make for Tyr. Uh, that way we get all his nutrients and something that he actually feels like he's is something special he gets to get. So with most dogs, it's kind of hard to get them to take their vitamins and you know get them to take a pill. Uh, doing it this way that uh, makes it really easy to get him to take his eat his treat and uh, get his uh, daily vitamins. So uh, somebody actually saw me feeding these to him the other day and they're like, "What is that? Oh, that looks great. Oh, well, I'd love to make that for my dog." So I told them the recipe and now I'm telling all of you. Um, basically, uh, we'll, we will put a list of ingredients either in the description or on like a little separate, you know, insert here. Um, but basically what we're going to use is a five pound log of ground beef. You can use any kind of meat you guys, if you've got a meat grinder, you can grind up chicken, pork, whatever. Uh, ground beef, it's already ground, so it saves a step. Um, what I'm doing with five pounds of beef, I'm going to use about a cup and a half of eggs. I use the um, liquid eggs. So they're already pasteurized, cuts down any kind of bacteria growing. Um, I use the dine that you've seen me put in his food before. Um, we use about two thirds of a cup of dine if we're doing five pounds of food. Um, if I'm doing like a half log or a half you know, batch of these, then I'll use about a third of a cup of this. And then the important part is his daily multivitamin that we put in here. Um, this amount of snacks is five pounds. will probably last him about 10 days. So I've got 10 days or 10 of these um, vitamins that have been crushed up and then powdered and put in here. So this is what we're going to add to his uh, snacks so that he gets his vitamins every day. So um, pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, let me reposition the camera and I'll be right back and we'll show you exactly how we make all this. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and just get this five pounds of ground beef open. Uh, So it always goes easier when you're not on camera. Everything comes off nice and smooth. You're doing it for yourself. Okay, at least you can go in the trash. Okay. All right. Now, with our mixer, I've got one of the KitchenAid mixers. Um, I've actually made this by hand before, so you can just kind of knead it together and keep kneading and kneading until you've got, um, got it where it looks like a consistent kind of paste. But with a KitchenAid sand mixer, um, works really well and just adding stuff in kind of slow so that it doesn't you know, fly off all over the place it's going to kind of be the only trick and then just the stock um, blade that comes with it for mixing so I'm going to get that put on and then just kind of cut up chunks of meat just to start kind of getting this in here and I'll start with about half of it then add more to it as we as we go on some of the egg in and then just start this on slow kind of keep my hands there for a second to let it kind of get started make sure it's not going to throw a piece I've had this thing kick up egg and meat and throw it all over the place before and even though Tyr enjoyed that I, I really didn't so uh, and then while this is mixing I'll go ahead and let the dine which is like I said that's kind of a butterscotch consistency to it I'm going to let that kind of sit here and just drip into it One little cake spatulas, batter spatulas, whatever you call it. There's that. Now I'll go ahead and mix in part of his vitamins. And then I'll start adding back in you know, other chunks of meat until it's all looks like the same consistency. And then we'll spread it out. And I'll show you what to do after that.
like that, uh, that pink hot dog stuff they used to talk about on the news all the time, that that was what was being processed in all your food. But it's all natural ingredients we've had right here, so we know where it's come from, we know what's going into it, and Tier absolutely loves these things. The best part about it is you can freeze them, and that's typically how I give them to them. Um, we're in the south, so um, it's, it's a little warm right now, even going into October. Uh, yesterday, I think it was like 94, 95 degrees outside, so nice little warm day. And uh, with these being uh, frozen, Tier loves them. Um, now, if you do want to uh, take these somewhere with you, you're not going to have a way to refri uh, refrigerate them. Um, take a saucepan, put a little oil in it, or vegetable shortening, just whatever you feel comfortable giving to your dog. Um, and get that nice and hot, and then just sear these on both sides, and you'll, um, you know, that way you'll be able to take them with you. Okay. Get the last few vitamins going in. And now we just let this stuff sit here and mix. You, but I use way too many paper towels whenever I'm in the kitchen. So. Okay, and we're getting just about there. It's all kind of the same consistency now. So just turn our mixer off, lift this up and out. Get all this meat off of the mixing blade itself. Just takes a second because the meat's got a little bit of a fat content to it, so it's gonna be kind of stringy. And once we got all that beef off of there, just go ahead and get that into the sink. And then we can let me go ahead and get all this spread out for you. Now, this is the best part about this. Like these treats right now, like this will be very hard to kind of, you know, knead up and make into treats for a dog. All you gotta do, take a cookie sheet, basically take anything that's got a boundary on it, depending on how big of a batch you wanna make of these. Take a bowl, take, you know, a pan, take anything you've got that has a little bit of an edge to it so that you can put a layer of it down. And then just take this stuff right here. And basically dump it out on your cookie sheet. Smells good too. Oddly enough, it smells like the dime, which smells a lot like vanilla. I swear, if dime made a milkshake for humans, I'd probably drink it. Okay, so there's that. Take our little cake spatula and see if we can get a few more treats out of this for tier. thing I'm going to do is just mash this down to where it's nice and flat. Let's take out the whole bottom of this tray. And then we will stick it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Don't worry, I'll, I'll stop the tape so you don't have to sit here and watch, watch meat freeze. But uh, we'll get all this food in there put it in the freezer. And after it's gotten not completely frozen, but pretty, you know, about, I'd say about 75, 80% frozen, uh, we'll take it out and I'll show you what to do next. So let me go ahead and get this finished up and put in the freezer and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back and this has been in the freezer for about 20 minutes. So all we're gonna do now is take it and flip it upside down and take the aluminum foil off. I'll take that pan off and take our aluminum foil off. And you can see we've kinda got a little bit of a sheet. I'm gonna try to save my aluminum foil here because I wanna reuse it. Not on a different project, on this same thing that we're doing. Uh, spread it out a little bit. Peel right off. And if we pull this out at the right time, it won't be frozen so hard that it's really hard to cut through. And now basically I've got two pans here and I'm just going to kind of spread out the pieces so they get nice and frozen. But since it's tiered that I'm cutting this up for, I'm going to cut chunks that are about an inch square. 
Um, if you have a bigger dog, cut them bigger. If you have a smaller dog, cut them smaller. I doubt you'll have a bigger dog though. So here we go. And you know, just like that right there, we'll do it all the way down, and then I uh, just start dividing them up on the trays. just the right time when it wasn't too frozen. And it really doesn't matter if these are perfectly square or not because once they get nice and frozen very hard, the doesn't really care what shape they are. They taste fine to him and that's all that really matters. They've got his vitamins in there for him so he is a happy puppy. So, Those cut. And usually what I'll do is I'll take like, you know, four, however long the blade is, and just cut those at one at a time, and that way I can shift those off onto another tray with a spatula. Or a blade of my knife, either one works. And I'll just take those a row at a time and just kind of drop them back on my trays to Get them a little spread out so they freeze a little better. And then after they've frozen a second time, we got really nice and hard. And I'm talking like, you know, you leave them in there for overnight, a couple hours at least. These things get very, very hard, and you can, you know, keep them for as long as you want. I mean, really, they're, it's frozen food, so it's not going to go anywhere. not going to go bad anytime, anytime soon. And with Tyr, like I said, he'll go through this in about 10 days or so. So it's not going to take him too long to go through it. None of this will go bad in that, that short amount of time. But anyways, I'll try to get these kind of separated. Or tend to stick together a little bit. Usually it's in the middle because that part's the last to freeze really good. So, but as you get closer to the edges on the outside, it'll freeze a lot easier. So, anyways, there is that. We got our last few cuts in. That's Marshmallow. She's barking at something. She's always barking at something. Last piece here. Just kind of scatter those out on either tray just to you know, find some place for them to, to go. And we're done. Okay, so that's it. And so I've got all those treats kind of set out for tier. You know, and I'll give him four or five of them at a time, you know, whenever we're working on tricks or what have you. Um, and then when they're done, they go in the freezer. The bag like that. And then I, usually I'll put like a little bit of cornstarch on them when I put them in the bag. That way they just don't stick together. Um, and you get nice little treats like these that are, you know, good and frozen. These are made out of pork. That's why they're a little lighter in color. But, you know, they're really easy to take with you. You can throw them in a the bag, go anywhere you want to go. And Tyr loves them when he comes in from being outside. And he's got his nice, uh, basically his own like little pop, meat popsicle. So, anyways, guys, there you go. Thanks so much for watching. And if y'all have any questions about this, or anything else, um, just let us know. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. Bye.